Gumroad, Abstract, Webflow. These are all websites that are built with Webflow. And when you reach out to website prospects about working together, it's pretty important that you know if their website is built in Webflow or not. If you focus on website migrations to Webflow, you probably shouldn't be reaching out to businesses that are already using Webflow. But if you focus on improving the design system within a Webflow website, you wanna make sure they are already on Webflow. So websites, how were they built? Were they built using Webflow? Let's find out. The way we're going to check if a website is built in Webflow is using Weppalyzer. Weppalyzer is a free Google Chrome plugin that you can use on any website to see the technology used to build the website, including the page builder of course, but also a bunch of other stuff too, like if they're using Google Analytics or Hotjar or Google Optimize or so on. Combining this information with loading speed information from PageSpeed Insights and some SEO info from SEO Site Checkup or Ahrefs gives you a full outline of how a business's website is built and how it performs to know how exactly you can add value. Maybe they've overlooked page speeds and didn't realize how much a certain integration is slowing down their page load times. Or maybe they missed out all of their meta descriptions and so are lacking in their SEO. Either way, you can take this information and use it directly in client outreach by emailing clients about how they can improve or in a website proposal by outlining how you're going to fix these problems in your different project options, or even informing your client on what their competitors are using for their website stack. In fact, you can even generate lists of websites that use certain technology within Webalyzer. So if you're an expert on member stack and want a list of leads to reach out to that use Webflow with member stack, you can. Or if a website doesn't have any technology, Webalyzer lets you play tic-tac-toe with a robot. Yet another great feature. So let me know if this video was helpful or if you have any video recommendations then feel free to leave those in the comments. Otherwise thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.